Good afternoon, everyone. I'm out here on a beautiful Colorado day, taking a little drive and figured I'd give you a little bit more of a detailed walk around of the Alley Cab Kaya four person sleeper that I have on the back of the Tundra. So let's get into it. So we're gonna start here um, on the driver's side. Um, and if you notice, there's some storage options here on the outside. It's kind of like two, two panels that you can uh, access here for miscellaneous storage and whatnot. Um, all of which have a National Luna light there. You can switch from red to white. Here, I mean, for me personally, this one here is more of a kind of some miscellaneous storage here. I saw my water base in there. Um, this back one here is more of the kitchen galley and pantry that, that I personally designate it for. One thing in particular about the, uh, the Kaya, especially with the four person one, which is considered the fully loaded version, is you do get all of these things included. Um, you get the Kango pot, the plastic storage bin, the tea kettle, the stainless steel glass, wine glasses and cups and mugs. Um, you get some silverware and here's another zipper compartment that you could access, um, which you can also use as a pantry. I mean, whatever you want really, but I use it for storing some kitchen items, um, some canned goods, some Ziploc bags, aluminum foil, things like that. And this kind of keeps it way zipped up in a way so you can keep some of the dust out of it. Um, I have a little, little kitchen towel here, some other kitchen utensils. So one of the other, uh, you know, nifty alley cab innovations that is also part of the Kaya on this side of the galley is this kind of drop down table. It's a pretty lightweight aluminum table that folds up and tucks inside the door. Let me just kind of unfold it a little bit. And this just slides in here on these little rails on the side of the Kaya. So you can kind of have like a little quick lunch setup. Just tighten it up with these wing nuts. And then you have kind of a platform to quickly put some things on so you don't have to pull out the table. One of my other favorite innovations here, um, what the iCab is just like the Canopy Camper, the Kaya also has um, some aluminum fold-out table here that I'll pull out real quick and show you. Pretty lightweight, it's all aluminum, got shred assisted legs. And set up and ready to go when you get to camp. Move it around to the back. Um, this is a slide-in style camper uh, for my Tundra. And it atta attaches here via these, uh, these kind of chain links here. And it bolts directly into the bed. And it does have some jack stands and stuff that you attach to the sides in all four corners. So you can kind of just slide the truck out from underneath it. There's a platform that uh, latches here in place. And it stores Conveniently here right in the back, it's kind of like a shower platform, which I'll show you here as soon as we get to the passenger side. But um, there is a drain here, or kind of a water spigot rather for uh, water. It does have a, a 20 gallon water tank, um, which you can just fill right here. It's all gravity fed. Um, there is a sink with a 12 volt pump in here, um, and that's the drain for that. I'll show you that as soon as we get inside, but let me open this up and kind of show you how it does. That works how you get inside. It does have like a kind of fold down stairs and steps. Uh, it's super simple to pop up the top on this. Usually 10 second ordeal for camp. I mean, it has a Sort of a canopy style door, I guess you would call it. This pops up, all strut assisted, super easy to set up. So before we get on the inside of the camper, I wanted to show you a little bit on the passenger side here 
and what's uh, behind some of these panels here. So this side, much like the other side, kind of mirrors the other side as far as uh, panels go. Um, you could store really um, whatever you want here, uh, a propane tank, some other gear and that sort of thing. Um, this is also where the shower nozzle actually is and you can adjust all that. That comes out here and you can spray yourself here and take a shower right next to the shower cube here, which I'll, I'll open for you here in just a little bit. But moving on to this panel, um, there is a lot more going on here on this panel because here uh, is most of the electrical, the DC to DC charger. Uh, you have a shore power no-co here so you can plug shore power in when you're at camp if you want or when you have the truck just sit in the driveway a little bit. Uh, there's two gallons here of diesel for the diesel heater. Um, there are a number of different options here to strap your gear to. I don't currently have any gear here at the moment. Uh, there's some, definitely uh, some assorted fuses here. Um, and really just kind of Michelin stuff you could put whatever you want here, but the bulk of it here is just a lot of the electrical and some of the diesel heating components here um, on this side. All right, so I'm going to try to demonstrate the shower cube here, which is also really awesome innovation from Alley Cab. Um, it's just as easy to set up and put away as the 270 degree shadow awning. So let me show you that. It's a little windy today, so hopefully it doesn't uh, blow all over the place. This opens up with two arms and kind of latches into place, locks into place. And you got some anchor points here in the corners, which you can kind of tie down. Um, and there is kind of a little bit of a roof on the top as well. Um, the zippers on either side, which you can easily hop in. And there's some kind of some shelving here. You could put some shampoo, soap, that kind of thing on there. So that's really it. It's super simple. It just the reverse of it is folding it all up, rolling it and tucking it back into place. That's it. Easy peasy. Light here has three different levels of brightness on red and white. Just touch and hold, it switches to white, and you got three different levels of brightness there as well. Also wanted to show here this this is the diesel exhaust for the diesel heater, and there's also uh, vent or breather there behind that and towards the back. All right, so that covers most of the outside here. Um, there's a lot of stuff to cover on the inside. I'll do my best to kind of show you a tour of the inside and the layout and all the ins and outs and stuff inside there. But um, I'm not going to open up the 207 degree awning today. It's a little too windy out, I think, for that. And um, I didn't want to have to anchor it down. There are definitely some other videos out there that demonstrate that. It's super simple, really awesome awning. So let's get inside and I'll show you that. Also, I want to show you real quick the shower platform. So this is an aluminum platform with some rubber uh, strips on here. And this is you, you can kind of just sit this underneath the, uh, the shower cube. And that'll kind of hold it down if you want, or if you want a platform to step on, or don't want to get muddy, that sort of thing. So there's that. All right, so once you have the uh, 
canopy up. You just crawl in here and you kind of push up on these two panels here. This is the main sleeping platform. You just push that up and out of the way so I can show you that for a minute. So you can fully stand up in here. Um, this platform comes up so that you can get access to the fridge. And I can show you that here a little closer. There's that platform you can sit on. Um, all three windows here you can unzip. So let me show you that. Before we dive into the interior, um, these are elastic storage panels that you can unzip and you can store recovery gear. For instance, I have some recovery gear and tools in there. Um, this is another like camp storage bin, which don't come with the Kaya, but I bought them anyway because it's really just an empty space, if not. And they come really handy for storing things and kind of multi-use, multi-purpose. Same zipper door on this side. And you can store a bunch of stuff in here. There's plenty of storage in there. Uh, this is the gutter that slides in a channel um, up above here when you have the awning up. So in case it's raining, it doesn't drip there. It just drips off the side. Well, yeah, let's hop in. So right now I'm standing up inside and uh, it's definitely pretty high up. I'm reaching all the way up here and I can't reach the, the roof. But there's three very ventilated windows, big windows here, and some mozzie netting. So it's a very fine mesh window and there's not going to be any bugs getting in there. One on either side. Um, there are two kind of zipper access panels here, which have a kind of a USB C and standard USB in there. Uh, it does have kind of a reading light or an extra light for whatever you need. Here's the same on both sides. So you get that reading lamp and the two USB ports there on that side as well. So here on the inside, you do have some storage here on either side. And just some pockets, some additional storage on both sides. You can put some stuff in there. And then this lifts up. And then you have access to a 90 liter fridge. Again, this does not come with the Kaya. This is an additional option that you can get up to 90 liters with a National Luna fridge. You got some more storage here, especially for the cushions. And there is uh, a fold out table. So the idea is you can set up all these cushions here on this, this area, the table the table doubles as a platform and goes in this space so that you could put all the cushions there and you can have somebody sleep down here um, by opening up this additional storage panel. And this is where you store all those cushions when they're not in use. Here is the table arm that just goes in here. The table slides right on top here and it swivels all around and out of the way and it's uh, pretty nifty when you need it. Um, some additional storage back in here. It goes back in here. It's about a couple, at least two, two and a half feet deep. So there's plenty of storage in here if you want to either store the cushions or or a sleeping bag or something else like that. This is an additional auxil auxiliary panel I use for an inverter. I have two cigarette outlets there. And a, it's kind of a blue C panel that I use. This is definitely custom. It's definitely not included with the Kaya. 
as well as these additional nettings here on the side for extra storage. So here is the, the sink. Uh, and there is the little spigot. It is 12 volt powered pumped. So you can use it to, you know, use it for to make coffee or fill your water bottle, something simple, things like that. Also on the other side, there is a kind of an access door and more storage pockets here. You can get access from the outside. All right, so I wanted to set up the lower sleeping platform so you can see with it all down, set up all these cushions. The table becomes the platform here in this space. And all the cushions just sit into place here. And you got this whole sleeping platform here for somebody else that wants to sleep there. So here's the upper sleeping platform, which uh, just lowers down. And you have at least six or so feet of space here. You got storage pockets and a light there. And then behind me, if you're really tall or if you need an extra kind of platform or even a standing desk, this folds down here and you have an extra couple feet of space here as well. Here are some of the, the controls for the fridge. There's a 12 volt meter there. There's a thermostat for the diesel heater and an inlet and outlet for the diesel heater itself. It gets pretty toasty in here. So again, when all the cushions are not in use, everything stores in here, the table, and all four or five cushions store in here. This panel comes up and then just kind of latches into place there, it keeps that up. And below here, there is the battery. I have a 100 amp hour lithium that stores down here in this corner. There is the 20 gallon water tank that sits in there and the on-demand water heater that sits down there. Well, I'll take that back. It's not on-demand. Uh, you do have to have the truck running and I think it's uh, two, two or three gallons a time, a time that, it, that it heats, if I'm not mistaken, but there's the water tank there. And that's where everything else is there. There is definitely another awning uh, that unrolls there, as you can see at the top, and it does have some rods that store up in the back of the bed, um, which you could prop up there if you need some extra rain coverage. Here's the 12 volt Anderson plug here that plugs in and then runs to uh, kind of a fuse relay for your starter battery so you can charge uh, the battery inside the Kaya. There's also a little step here so you can kind of use that as a step to get on top and up here in case you need to get up on the roof. That's why that handle's there. This is the water fill port and the vent for the tank here. You just unscrew this and fill it in right there. All right, guys, that about wraps up for this tour of the Kaya. Um, hopefully I covered some of your questions and satisfied some of your curiosity, but if there's anything I didn't, didn't answer or you still need to know, just let me know in the comments. Thanks, I'll see you on the trail.